Hi, good evening. Welcome to PJ's. Thank you. Can I take your coat? Oh, I'm actually real comfortable. You have to leave it here. OK, Colin, I'll take these two. Hi, good evening. As is the case with many of the restaurants that Chef Ramsay visits, the word has spread in the community. And PJ's is much busier than normal. Hmm. I'm not used to being the hostess. How would you like that cooked? Ah, uh, well, he's well done. Ordering a salmon. Well. I just know what's good and I know what's bad, and I know I can handle the job. I know I can do the job really well because my food is good. How are the stuffed mushrooms coming? Talk to me for two seconds. He literally doesn't talk behind the line. He doesn't communicate with me, especially when it's busy. The worst situation in the fucking world. Eric. Yes, sir. I've got to talk to them. Come on. At least talk. What table is this? Let the fuck up, Warren. Eric's lack of communication has the staff waiting for direction and the diners waiting for food. Oh, when are we going to get our drinks and food already? Customers normally wait this long for entrees. Yes. Yeah. It usually takes two hours to eat here. From two hours? Two hours from start to finish. Oh, Eric, they're starting to complain now that there's no food out there. <laughs> Come on, you can do better than this, can't you? You give a shit? Yeah, I give a shit. Come on then, big man. This is a steakhouse, yes? PJ Steakhouse. PJ Steakhouse. Yeah. Pathetic joke. That's what it stands for. Come on, guys. Nobody looks too happy here. Oh, no, we haven't got our meals yet. Here we come. Didn't get you dinner yet? No. no. Okay. For the amount of people we had tonight, it was a ridiculous amount of time they had to wait for the food. That's it. I'm going to drink it. Eric, how long on that 16? Putting it up right now. An hour into dinner service, Food is finally leaving the kitchen. Because of the amount of customers, everyone is delivering the food, even Madeline. Gorgonzola? Who is clearly not comfortable with the job. All right. You have a spinach. Listen, <laughs> let's go over this, OK? Not a waitress, not a hostess. I only own it. So I know nothing about the food. I am probably the only person who owns a restaurant in the world who wouldn't know what good food is. That's the truth. I, I left that part up to Joe from the beginning. Give me a glass of shiraz. It's an hour and a half into dinner service. Table 30, all the apps are in the window. Many customers have received food. This is like really weird. But for most, it wasn't worth the wait. That's really gross. You don't like it? It tastes like lemonade. Lemonade. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. OK, so I'll tell the chef about the chicken. Can you take this off the table 30? Why? You can tell she didn't like it at all. And what do you want me to do with it? You know what I'm saying? Can we take it off? I'll have a word with them. I went to check the menu. It's chicken Madeira. And I will have them take it off for you. Well, do you didn't even recognize it? <laughs> OK. Thank you. Thank you. I just don't know how to have better manners at the table. How long on 23? Salmon and the filet. That salmon's fucked. Come on, guys. Eric, touch the top of that salmon. It's like a bullet. Yeah, it's too over that. It's only going to come back. Chef Ramsay is standing there and catching the mistakes as they're happening. Look at the crap underneath there. Look at that. Eric, that's well done. Everything just feels like it's turning downward. Touch that there. Yeah, that's not medium. It's a disaster. It was horrible to watch it just fall apart. Come on! No, I can't. Too much for me. Fucking hell. Probably the only person who owns a restaurant in the world who wouldn't know what good food is. That's the truth. You're pulling my plonker now, aren't you? 